Hello to my honors trig students. How's everybody doing? Hey, look, the sun is shining. It must mean that we have a lot of really good math for you today, because you know what they say, a day without math is like a day without sunshine. Well, I really do miss being with you guys in the classroom, uh, but I hope you're doing well and uh, trying to stay positive and, and adjusting as best you can to our new online learning. I wanted to actually connect with you a little bit more personally to introduce our next topic of, of uh, discussion, that is parametric equations. Parametric equations, it's, uh, it's actually a short little unit, but nonetheless very important when it comes to uh, preparing you guys for your next level of math, whether it be in high school or college. And you're actually going to have an opportunity to learn about parametric equations through a little bit of a different uh, learning uh, method, uh, a self-guided uh, packet that I actually put together. Uh, and uh, it, I wanted to explain it to you a little bit. You see, uh, actually, a number of years ago, I was actually asked to uh, design something for uh, snow days um, that students then would do work over snow days. Uh, we really never have used it for that at Redline, but I still like students to have an opportunity to learn about parametric equations uh, through this, this self-guided packet. Now, uh, whether you decide to print the packet or whether you uh, use it digitally, uh, there's a couple things that I want to explain to you about it. Let's look a little bit more closely. All right, so let's take a little closer look at the inside of this packet. Um, first off, it's up to you if you decide to print it. Um, you don't have to print it. You could definitely uh, perform this uh, parametric unit by reading it digitally, but uh, you are going to, one way or the other, want to take notes. And that's one of the main things I want to show you with this packet is that um, it's a little bit more than just watching a video. In fact, you're going to do some reading. It doesn't take long to see that there's a lot of reading in here. Um, and as you read, you want to do. You want to do the things that it's asking. In fact, on the very first day, it's going to ask you to come up with a definition. You can just look it up. Um, there'll be places for you to make a graph. Uh, so as you read the notes, you actually want to do these things. Don't just try to skip ahead um, uh, to the end. Um, the reading is a big part of this packet. Now, there's also places where you'll practice. Just like when you would take notes in class, then you'll be asked to practice something. Make sure you practice it. Um, and then there are going to be times where you do watch a video. You'll be prompted to watch the video. Um, and then, as always, take the notes uh, as you watch. Um, and I often will ask you to respond to something that you learned on that day. Um, now, uh, day two is very similar. Uh, read, watch video, take some notes, do a practice problem. Now, interesting, when you do the practice problems, uh, you'll be able to check your work at the end of the packet. At the end of the packet, I have answers to the practices that you do. Um, of course, uh, use those appropriately. Now, uh, students often want to ask, well, what do I really need to do? In other words, what are you grading? Well, honestly, I am grading everything. I am going to grade the notes. I'm going to grade the practice that you do. But in the middle of the packet on day three is where you do have the assignment. And uh, indeed, that's a book assignment that I'm, I want you to do very carefully and correctly. And of course, it will be graded. Um, it'll become one of the primary grades for this uh, packet. Now, when you get to day four, there's an application that you're going to learn about. There are a couple videos, actually one video to watch and some practice to do. Um, but then there is an exit ticket. Now, the exit ticket is going to be the way that I grade, uh, ultimately, uh, at least the primary grade for this application. Uh, and I want you to also know that the exit ticket is two-sided. Had I printed this for you, you would have seen on the on the other side of that page was the back of the exit ticket. So make sure you do both sides of the exit ticket. But you can't do the exit ticket until you watch the video, until you do the practice and uh, get the learning. Now, the very last day is the golf club problem. Now, day five this year, we're actually going to make optional uh, just because of our current reality. So the day five golf club problem uh, you do not need to do. But if you do decide to do it, you will get a little extra credit for this entire parametric packet. Plus, it'll help you understand these projectile motion equations a little bit more that you would have studied in day four. So I encourage you to do day five. Uh, if uh, time permits and you decide to do so. So uh, the parametric packet, um, 
you're actually going to upload the parametric packet. You're going to upload all of your work on the very last day. So you will upload the notes that you take, whether you took them on this printed paper or on your own paper. You'll upload the practice problems that you did. Um, you'll uh, also upload the assignment, uh, the book assignment. And if you decided to do the golf club problem, you will also upload that. So um, do a nice job with the parametric packet. Reach out as you need help. I'm here to help you. And um, I'll see you the last day uh, for your uploads.